Hey, welcome back, y'all. Welcome back, y'all. Welcome. Hey, hey, part two. Hey, welcome back to my channel, y'all. This is going to be part two of my intro video. Remember, I'm doing three parts to my intro video to introduce my channel. If you have not seen part one, please, um, after this video or before the video, whatever you want to do, um, you can click below in the description. I have the link there. And also, guys, stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I say stay tuned. Part two. Part two. Close to my dream. Hey, 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 drink it. Hey, drink it. Hey, hey, stay tuned. I'm a smoke. Stay I'm in my nigga Tom whip and I'm doing by the book oh, in it. He got mad, I told him I bust a nut in it. Metro, keep me talking to my slut bitches. My T-Mobile phone bill by the... And we back again. Um, Hey guys, once again, if you have not uh, followed me on social media yet and you want to know my social media, it could be right below. Click below. Um, Snapchat is R-M-C-C-U-L-O-U-G-H. Not two L's, one L. Um, if you want to follow me on Facebook, it's my name, Raymond McCullough. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it is DreamKid underscore 20. And that's all my social media. Um, I do not got a um, Twitter. I'm working on that. I was getting a Twitter. But everything else below, you can follow me on. And also, guys, hey, join the party. If you subscribe. Might as well subscribe. Um, I got more videos coming up. Um... I'm trying to upload at least twice a week. I'm trying to. Um, I'm learning each and every day about editing and and different types of videos I need to be doing. But please subscribe, like, comment, and share. And let's get into story time. And it's story time, man. And if you read the title, I'll be talking about my freshman year college experience. Boy, oh boy, let's just say, y'all, I was not a good boy freshman year in college. And all my friends who know me from college, from Concordia College of Selma, Alabama, they know that I was wild and crazy. And the stuff we did and the stuff we got into, what you say, y'all? It was not cool. It was, it was not cool. Let us say I was not a good child. I'm just going to leave it as that. Not a good child. But let's start off with the first incident that happened to me freshman year in college, man. Um, A drive-by shooting. Me and my friend almost got caught in a drive-by shooting. We was in a bad situation. And the school in Selma is in the hood. Like, it's really in the hood. Like, the hood is like 10 seconds away from the school. And so every night you hear gunshots, every night you hear people fighting, you hear people get arrested, it's all that. Selma is off the chain, y'all. I'm gonna tell you right now, Selma is about that life. If you say Miami about that life, Selma, Alabama is about that life. Shout out to Selma, I was there for three years in Selma, Alabama, and trust me, it is hell when it comes to those gangsters, those Bang bang shooters, man. Give me some bang bang shooters, boy. I tell you. But getting back to the drive by shooting, me and my friend were actually walking from the store at night, which we should have. But it was that day was drama. That night was drama. One of our other friends got in a fight that night, and it was chaos. It was just that that night was just full of drama, um, of people fighting, and we trying to break it up, and we almost got in a fight that night as well. But me, one of, me and my homeboys coming from the store at night. As we walk in, a car slowly, slowly, I'm gonna tell y'all slowly. Now you know what that means. When a car slowly at night pull to the side of like in front of us, like on the side road in front of us. We just stop and like, man, what are they doing? Look at him like, what are they doing? Yeah, I don't know what they're doing, bro. Like they're doing something, bro. I don't know what they're doing. But they stopping in front of us. So we thinking like, man, hold up, just stop. So they drove past fast. We looking like this. Oh shit. B motherfucker turned around. Cause one dude in the car in the um in the passenger seat was like, hey bro, they got money. 
Nigga, we don't have money, nigga. Well, who got money, nigga? I'm broke, nigga. I'm at Concordia College, nigga. I'm broke. It's like, I barely have $5. I spent my last $5 at that time to go to the store. Y'all, let's tell y'all this, man. These, these people don't pull back and start driving fast. And my homeboy looked at me like, Remy, we got to go. I'm like, bro, we got to go. We got to go. And we... We gone, bro. We... I don't took the slides off. I don't, you, you know, you know what I mean about slides, y'all. Like, you know, the little flip flop slide. Well, we call it slides then. I don't know what y'all call it now, but we gone. These motherfuckers pulled the gun out. They pulled the gun out. I jump in the ditch. And I don't know what my friend went to. I, I wish my friend is JT, AJT. I hadn't mentioned any dog, but my dog JT. He went somewhere else. I don't know where he went to, but I'm in a ditch. And they went down the street and it was like, after they pulled the gun out, they're trying to come back. But I guess they didn't find us because I don't know where he went to. I was in a ditch and they was like searching for us, like with guns. And I'm in a ditch. They didn't check the ditch. It was pitch dark. Um, these men had guns. I was like, man, we're going to find y'all. We're going to find y'all. I'm like, oh, Lord Jesus, please don't find me. I don't do guns. I'm not a hood nigga. I'm not hood at all. I'm telling y'all, I'm not hood at all. But, yeah, so, that was one incident that happened in college. And there are plenty of incidents that happened in college. Alright. Y'all, in college... I almost got in like three fights in college, y'all. Three fights. I was, mm, I was a bad boy. Now, I was talking a lot of trash in college. Trust me, it, it, you know me from Deland. You know I talk a lot of trash on the basketball court, on the football field. I did the exact same thing in college. I was doing it on the regular. I was talking a lot. I talked trash about the teachers. I was cussing out the teachers. I was cussing out the administrator. I even cussed out the VP. I even cussed out the president. People at Concordia College knew me as a turn up boy. That I would turn up on you, I would tell you about yourself, and I would cuss you out in a heartbeat. I was cussing out teachers, cussing out students, getting in fight with students, yelling at students, jumping students. And it, 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 the one situation where, I mean, this one dude named St. Louis, we call him St. Louis. I never knew his real name, but he was from St. Louis. We call him St. Louis. He about five now, whatever. And. We playing basketball. Now, if you know me now, I play a little rough in basketball. And so, I would talk to trash to him because I was guarding him and I was shutting him down. First thing first, I don't like him. And I let that be known. I don't like you. And when I don't like you, that means I don't like you. And I'm going to tell you that I don't like you. And I ain't like this man. So, I guess I pushed him too hard in basketball. So, he threw the ball at me. I'm looking at man like, who? who? He threw the ball at me, bro. Hit my face. I was like, all right, man, it's time to fight. How he, him and his homeboys try to jump me? Man, I tell you, my dog Dobon, shout out to my boy Dobon, boy. I haven't seen that man in years. But my dog Dobon and my other boy, um, we call him Toothpick back then. We, we call him Toothpick. Um, that man always had a toothpick in his mouth. That's why we call him Toothpick. Always had a toothpick in his mouth. But he came up, there was like this, bro. Y'all ain't gonna jump my dog like that. So if y'all wanna fight, we're gonna fight right now. And I'm looking like this, man. I'm gonna get my one-on-one -on -one for him, boy. I'm gonna get my one. -on -one. Boy, I ain't like that dude St. Louis, boy. We did not like each other. And that brings up to more incidents. If you was in Concordia College, y'all. I gotta drink on this one, y'all. Hold on. If you was in Concordia College of Selma, Alabama, you know that there are groups divided. The Memphis boys, you had the Memphis, people from Memphis, Mobile, Birmingham, um, the Atlanta boys or the Georgia boys, we call it. Then you had the Florida boys. Then, um, of course, you had other people in different locations. But those are the main areas um, that don't like each other. So, there's one party we had at Kokoya College. I'm was dancing. I mean, I was in dancing. We had a huge party. I was dancing, and one of my homeboys was outside. One of my Florida boys was outside. 
And I'm looking at this like, what, what's going on? And he took his shirt off and everything. I'm like, what is going on out here? Turn out that one of the Memphis boys had a problem. And at that time, the Memphis people ran their school. Like, Memphis boys was not playing, boy. Them boys was for real boys from the hood. And Memphis and Atlanta was always together. Mobile and Birmingham didn't get along. It was always Mobile and um, Florida people always with each other. And Birmingham just split up. Like, Birmingham people just, they be everywhere. They, they, they don't know what they want half the time. But, so, I guess it was a fight between Memphis and Florida. So, that means Mobile versus, Mobile, Florida versus Memphis, Birmingham. And Atlanta, Georgia people, whatever, they split up both ways. And so, it's a huge fight. It's about maybe 60 people out there fighting. A huge fight. Everywhere. I'm in the middle of this fight. I'm trying to swing my way. I don't know who I'm hitting. I'm just hitting whoever come my way. I'm... One hit, one hit. I'm, I'm hit, man. I'm just ducking and stuff is throwing away. I'm like, bro, forget the J's. I mean, my J's was messed up. Forget that. I mean, it is what it was. I mean, it was a huge darn fight, and they carry on for years there. Like they, just, I don't know. They still that school. Y'all do that school still even exist? I haven't heard. I don't know, but yeah. Yeah, so after that huge fight, I mean, people used to, at Concordia College, people used to break into people's rooms and take people's stuff. And y'all know me, at that time, I was swagged out. I had the latest shoes. I had everything. Like I had a whole bunch of shoes. And so I had to put like a lock pad on my door. Like I had to get my room changed because I got my room broken into four times. And... Good thing was I had um put my stuff in um in another room um until one of my homeboys <laughs> named Detroit my dog Detroit what up Detroit what up Detroit my dog Detroit we call him Detroit he he roommate with me and that man was not playing boy that man people kind of respect him at that time because that man was from Detroit and he had them choppers he had. I don't know what it was, but that man was loaded with clothes, shoes, everything, and nobody really fucked with him, so my stuff was kind of safe after that because he was like, man, don't fuck with that man. So it was, it is what it was at that time. But, y'all, let me tell y'all the time where there was a shooting on campus. It was a shooting on campus. Man, I'm asleep. All I hear is, pow, 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 my, oh my fucking God. Somebody get, tell me this. Is the Selma people of Alabama shooting up at the school? Because this is this one dude from New Orleans. He had the nerd to talk to this one lesbian girl, um, dyke girl, whatever you want to call it. I think she was a, I think she was a, she was a stud that wanted to be a dyke or something like that. And um, it, was, it happened two weeks ago before that day, that, that night, and he talking trash to her. She said, we'll shoot this place up. And she was not lying, cause two weeks later, it about ten of them shooting up the campus at the dude window. Like the dude, like he had like I think the bullet scraped his ear or something like that. Like it almost went through his head. And it was just cops everywhere. And I'm like, oh my god, these people just shot up their school. I'm ready to go home, y'all. I'm a fresh. This is this a freshman year. I'm ready to go home. Now there was more incident. Tell me how. Y'all got to drink on this one. I was scared of my life. Tell me how a 15-year-old came on campus, right? On the West Campus. That means it was like all the, the, I guess the apartment area, the big rooms or that location, whatever you want to call it. Um, tell me, a 15-year-old was looking for somebody. And me and my five of my homeboys, it was like all of us trying to go to dinner. We, we trying to go eat. You know what I mean? We trying to go eat. No, oh, it was fried chicken night too, but let me tell you, at Concordia College, fried chicken night, I'm trying. but fried chicken night ain't nothing to play with. And this little boy came on campus, I think he about 13, 15 years old, looking for somebody on campus. And we told we don't know, we don't know what room number he is, but we knew the name he said. You know, he shot that gun in there, pop, pop, 
pow, 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 and start pointing it. But I'm glad a little motherfucker that had no, no damn aim. But boy, boy, I tell y'all this. I was scared and I ran. I ran my life again. I'm like, I'm tired of getting shoot at. What is the world going on here? And that was that. And I told him, hey, look, hey, look, he in this room. We, did he charge at us? I'm like, man, bro, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Got to go. Got to go. I ran. I don't know what happened to everybody else. But I know the little boy and eventually found this dude. And I don't know what happened out there. But I don't think he even shot him. I think the little boy got got set up. Because the next day, we saw, we saw the little boy on the news. The man, I was busted open. He was in some bushes. I was like, ooh. Now, you came to the wrong place, Chuck, boy. Mm. Mm. Yeah, uh, Starbucks good. But, yeah, man. Yeah, my days in Concordia College was crazy. And I'd done some crazy stuff. And I was in a part of some crazy stuff. I mean, we jumped people. We talked trash about people. I, I was in a lot of mismatched situations. And that's just how that stuff was. But nobody really messed with me because everybody called me the school board, the, the, the nerd. I was a nerd. I, I used to do people's... I'm not supposed to say this, but hell, I was making money. Doing people papers? Man, I get like 10, 15 papers a week. And I'm getting paid over maybe close to $500 of doing all these papers. And I was, man, making money. And that's why I was buying all those shoes. <clears throat> and it was. was. Best my niggas, though. Those, those my niggas, man. They was gangsters. They was little bang, bang. But they were about their life, though. But I miss my niggas, though, man. Man, and I was in the deep stuff. Bro. Oh, and, oh, I didn't hold up. I didn't hold up. Yeah, y'all know story time is a little long. A little long, but with my experience at Concordia College, it could take me years to explain these stories. And, um, boy, I tell you, like I said, what I said before, I was not a good boy. I was not a good boy. Everybody at that school knew I was the turn up king. I'm going to have a picture somewhere coming up that me and my homeboys, we was lit. Let's just say we was turned up. We did everything. I mean, we did from, man, I was bad. I used to do Molly cocaine. I did, I did crack. I did oh my God, narcotics. I did it all. People at Concordia knew that I was on drugs. At that time, at Fred, not on drugs no more, y'all. Not on drugs no more. I'm getting twisted. But in freshman year in college, I did cocaine. I did crack. I did um, narcotics. I did Molly. I did all that stuff in college. I really did. Like, it was just, I was experiencing a lot of things, and I was always drunk. I was drinking a lot. I was an alcoholic. Like, I used to be drinking and doing drugs a lot, y'all. Like, y'all, don't go through what I went through. I was homesick, and it was just, there y'all. You both was on some drugs. I was on some real, real drugs, like, People at that school knew you used to pop them damn pills. <laughs> pop them nerve I but I did pop them nerve pills, I ain't gonna lie to you. I did and it was just I don't do it no more. But that's what I did. I was wild and I was always drunk. Every weekend I was drunk. I was popping pills. I was high. I would come to class high. I was always high. I was always doing something. I used to just be that's how people knew it was. I did all that. So like, people took me like, man, you crazy. I'm like, damn. Just trying something new, I guess. But it is what it is, y'all. And that would be pretty much the end of my story time of this. There's more to me in that school. Um, I've done a lot. Like, I already told y'all half of it, but I probably got some a photo somewhere of showing me and my friends was lit with a juice container and we pulled up an alcohol in there and we used to just buy bottles of bottles of bottles of liquor and we used to just drink it all. We used to buy like five, six bottles of liquor a night and drink it all. And then we would just roll, roll a blunt, whatever. And some of us would just pop a molly or 
get narcotics or get cocaine and we just enjoy life. And that's how it was. And y'all, thank you for listening to my story time. And again, please subscribe, share, like, comment. Um, more videos is coming. I got a lot of content for you guys. And just stay tuned. And hey, 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 part three coming up. Part three coming up. Hey, hey, hey. But I don't tell them. Hey, hey. Boom, 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 boom.